How you doing? Hopefully everybody's staying healthy and happy. Uh, Coach Chris here with Fit Woman for Life and Chris Fit, and today I'm going to give you a home workout that you can do with just your body weight. <clears throat> if you're more of the intermediate level and you don't have any home equipment, you know, dumbbells are at a premium right now. Who would have thought toilet paper and dumbbells selling out everywhere? Um, one of the best ways to increase the difficulty level of an exercise is to slow you down. So uh, slow down the rate of speed, particularly on the eccentric phase. That's the phase where the muscle is lengthening. Usually it's the lowering phase of an exercise. So what the workout I'm going to show you here, um, six exercises for you to do. If you are relatively new to training, you don't want to do these ones slowly, and you likely want to do less repetitions. If you're fairly advanced, then uh, you want to do them uh, slowly. So uh, first exercise would be a bodyweight squat. If you're fairly new to training, you can do that squat sitting down to a bench right there and then back up. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can come out and then do that slow count. So one, two, three, four, and then back up. That's the first exercise. Second exercise would be a kneeling push-up or a regular push-up. If you're fairly new to training, I recommend taking a couple of these veggie burgers here and lowering your chest down to the veggie burgers. So you can come down here, regular speed, or on the way down, one, two, three, four, and then back up. So you could group those two together, squats right into push-ups, um, one minute rest, and then go back to it for a couple more rounds. For the more advanced people, you can go here, one, two, three, four, and then one second back up. Or you can get rid of those veggie burgers, and then all the way to the ground here, one, two, three, four, and back up. So again, group one, squats and push-ups. <clears throat> group two, this one's a bit of a tricky one. This one's called a Bulgarian split squat. Sounds scary because it is. So for beginners, you can grab a, uh, a broomstick if you like, and you're going to put walk out about three to four feet away from the bench. That broomstick will be in the same side as the uh, the foot that's back on the bench. You're going to try to have a gentle forward lean and bending that back knee down towards the ground, about a 90 degree angle with the front leg, and then coming back up. Again, if you're more advanced, you might want to get rid of the stick, and then you can go down one, two, three, four, and then one second back up. This next one is called a bent over row. So if you have some heavy water jugs or soup cans, or a la the last video of some sparkling water, you're going to get in this bent over position, bum back, should be able to wiggle your toes. One second up, one, two, three, four on the way down, one second up, one, two, three, four on the way down. We've got to go faster. Um, if you find that that's hard on your back, then you can brace your hand on a bench or couch, whatever you have here. Elbow tucked in, pull your elbow tight to your side. One, two, three, four on the way down for the desired number of reps. So that's a group two Bulgarian split squat with the uh, dumbbell row. And the third group, we can go down on the mat here. And if you have a mat, I'm just going to go on the floor. I'll wash these clothes after or burn them. Uh, straight leg lifts, one, two, three, four, and one up. If, again, you're a beginner, you probably just want to bend your legs in and go regular tempo here. The goal here is to keep your lower back glued to the ground. If I go all the way to the floor, but my back is arching here, I'm liable to hurt my back, so it's better to have a smaller range of motion. So four seconds down, one second up. And then the last one we can do is a stomach crunch here. So we go... One second up, and then one, two, three, four. One second up. You can hold at the top. One, two, three, four. One second up. One, two, three, four on the way down. So um, give that a try. You're doing three groups of two exercises, one minute rest in between rounds. Um, let me know how that goes. And the nice thing, if you have these veggie burgers, is once you're done using them to modify the range of motion of your push-ups, 
you can just chow down on these guys. <clears throat> ah, delicious, delicious stuff. Stay tuned, I'll let you know how you can uh, access a, uh, a free month of workouts. The workouts will start on Monday, but I will have all the information posted tomorrow on Facebook. Stay healthy. Any questions on home training, please ask.